fire signs welcome back to the channel emperor's light it's me tony back with another channel tarot card message for you guys today so what we'll be getting into is a message for all the fire signs today aries leo and sagittarius of course we're going to see what spirit has to say in regards to your energy so come into the video liking sharing subscribing telling a friend about me we'll see how it goes allow the content to spread so we had an interesting today that that virgo full moon must have did something <laughs> what is virgo like obsessed with details and health and that type of stuff yeah so i spent a, a whole day renewing my identification but uh yeah little small details about a person right they put so much emphasis on things like fingerprints and all this type of stuff and they forget to value the person but we're going to get into the messages for fire signs and see what the message is for fire signs today we got the tower card so at the bottom of the deck for you we got the tower card that's scorpionic energy there could be bad could be positive could be negative depending on how you see it it's an, uh, some sort of an, an illumination this could be like the burst of an expression too like how they would break a building down but like the opposite would be or what i'm picturing in my head this could be like um i'm not sure if it's breaking someone down to build them up here is what i'm getting for the tower car yeah because it's transformation right you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you could be dealing with intuitive abilities or gifts. The Ace of Swords, yeah, found something new here. This is a new start, a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Some sort of a new idea or a new thought process here. This could even be a message coming in. Eight of Swords. Some sort of seclusion here. Or this could be uh, trapped in one's thought, uh, thoughts here like jail possibly even we have the hermit card so virgo major arcana so you could be keeping to yourself at this time or secluding yourself in order to go within yourself right why would you go within yourself to learn something uh, more about yourself and learning is what knowledge and knowledge is what power so we go to the nine of swords it could be a surprise basically is what i'm getting like you can basically surprise yourself uh at what you can do here maybe nervous about it or you could be losing sleep it's bringing some sort of a feel of a mental illness but again that's um you know they always make uh people seem a little different like different people are per yeah different people are perceived different in argument or a fight but um especially something special about about s certain people like she has three swords and these other two people had to drop their swords because they was not prepared to <laughs> for what she was going to bring here. So this could be an argument, possibly a speech, or again, going within oneself to bring out something. Um, like you're going from the Eight of Swords. with the um, You're going from the Eight of Swords to the Five of Swords. Excuse me, I had a long day. Oh yeah, Nine of Swords is in the middle. So it's going to come after this. I don't know if it's going to take time. Or if it's going to take some some some, uh, some sort of effort, or it's, I don't know, it's, something here is possibly hidden inside of you as well. Could be, or this is someone around you if this is not resonating with you. I want to see what the rest of this reading has to say in regards to fire sign energy. Ten of Wands dropping burdens here. This is releasing a lot of energy here. Possibly can be, yeah, even a journal. We will see here what is going on. We have the mosquitoes coming out at night. What, what, what? Seven of Pentacles on top of Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's going to be time. It's going to take time to come out of this haze. Or this could be... <laughs> I'm getting a, a, a horrible student. <laughs> kind of like those child prodigies. Like those Harry Potter types. <laughs> uh. Queen of Swords on top of the Hermit. Mm -hmm. So this is deep thoughts about someone that they have to bring out of themselves 
or some sort of a deep fear that they have. This could be like my fear of celebrity. What do they call it? Imposter syndrome. This could be someone, they're either testing their gifts for the first time or they're learning something new about themselves. They could be surprising themselves, not only people around them. But the Queen of Swords is Libra energy. And then we have Virgo, which in Vedic astrology, Libras are Virgos. This could be a counselor as well. Someone that received counseling and is now giving counsel. We have scorpionic energy coming out again with death. This is some sort of a death and rebirth situation if you're not dealing with a literal death here. Could even be dealing with ancestors or spirits, possibly ghosts, or whatever you believe in, in the supernatural. Sometimes it's things you can't even see. We have justice on top of five of swords. So yeah, again, you won this battle here, whatever this is. I don't know if this is a battle with other people or a battle with yourself. But we have the truth coming in, obviously, right? Sword of justice or the sword of truth. Archangel Michael. Could be dealing with a Libra. Page of Pentacles. This could be, if not a donation, this could possibly be moving to like a temporary place here is what I'm getting. Again, for me, you know, this particular card always seems like spying to me. Like somebody's looking in a cell phone or some sort of a mobile device. Why would somebody be, okay, they're learning possibly. Or they're documenting their journey here is what they're doing. Oh, <laughs> this new moment of enlightenment or inspiration or wishful thinking could be a way of manifestation, right? <laughs> It's like some people, they hammer away at a mountain where, where some of us <laughs> just put a damn uh, bomb on a mountain and blow that shit away. But yeah, someone's either learning or spying on you here. But I think this is someone documenting their success or something like that or this new journey or path that they're on. King of Pentacles comes out on top of the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I was actually thinking about this the other day because I remember I was doing one reading in the, at the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure which zodiac sign it was because I think I did all 12 that day. Um, and one of them, uh, the Page of Cups was grounding the deck and then it uh, the King of Cups came out. So it was someone that started some sort of a new journey here. We know what Cups are about. It's supposed to be about uh, love, our intuition, and that sort of thing, our health. And it was very interesting how that King of Cups came out. And now the King of Cups is coming out again. After what time has passed after being this, in this either this indecision or some sort of an imposter syndrome. Or whatever this is that's holding someone back here. The Hierophant on top of Queen of Swords. Some sort of a religious truth or uh, starting some sort of a, yeah, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords with the Hierophant. And then we have Virgo here as well. Justice. Two business cards, two professionals here. Good with relationships, the Hierophant and Justice. So you could be becoming some sort of a new religious figure. Possibly even start your own religious, uh, I don't know, foundation or something like that. Or I don't want to say cult, but you know. Like uh, the, all those people that were out there in history, Mahatma Gandhi and these types of people, Martin Luther King. Um, like people that led, um, that are like a lot of people listen to and was inspired by, like a Sai Guru or Dalai Lama or something like that. We have the Ace of Wands. Inspiration. <laughs> High energy here, death. On top of death and Ace of Swords. Creativity. Yeah, whatever this is that's bothering you is affecting your creativity. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming out. So a new job here or a new way to make finances. This is a windfall here. It's a very uh, fertile seed, right? Some sort of a major material wealth here. Of course, this is the marriage card for me as well. But it's some sort of a, a new opportunity when it comes to money that leads to success. On top of justice. <laughs> On top of five of swords. So this is going to be across different languages, which means this would be like different cultures. Like, you're going to be, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the root word of culture of is cult. So <laughs> we can either culture or we can cultivate. Which one? 
But that's pretty cool. I had a dream about that about a week ago. We got the three of cups for you, fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. <laughs> but no, this could be a party uh, or something like that. Some sort of a group, a gathering, or get together. Sharing cups with multiple people. This could be developing friendships. Documenting all this stuff. King of Pentacles on top of King of Cups. They're one and the same. Or you're dealing with um, multiple people in king positions. The King of Pentacles typically symbolizes a wealthy man, right? A, uh, an entrepreneur, someone very successful, right? Mm -hmm. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We got six of Pentacles. Equal give and take here. So a marriage coming up here. Six of Pentacles, giving gifts, charity, donation. Grace, even being a Libra card, but being able to balance here, give to multiple communities, the Hierophant, which a what do they call them? Uh, preachers and pastors do, or doctors and healers. On top of the Queen of Swords, which is a counselor or a teacher. Right? We all know Libras are they call them lucky Libras. <laughs> um, they're one of the most talented signs of the zodiac. They bring a lot of balance here. We have on top of Virgo. So again, this is some sort of a private um, profession that you offer. Yeah, this could be like uh, what a queen, the King of Cups is like some sort of a singer or a dancer. Could even be an intuitive. Right? Um, other forms of entertainment as well. Any form of art. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Someone knows how to plant an Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. The world card, travel, or the world wide web as well. You can have an online business, your own website, dealing with Sagittarius energy, but very well may be a traveler since it comes out on top of Ace of Wands. Sexual activities here with the male phallus and the naked woman. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Fire sign energy all day here. <laughs> What else we got for the fire signs today? Your last card actually, Queen of Cups, right? The nurser, the healer, mm -hmm. also a clairvoyant, right? Yeah, very talented, not on page levels or night levels. Mm -hmm. Don't forget we have the King of Cups, so divine counterparts here. This is reciprocal um, inspiration here bring about this ace of pentacles but that is the last card we'll see what are the additional messages i can find here through the major arcana oh there's medit here there's travel here all right we did see death and i think the tower is at the bottom of the card right or at the bottom of the deck yeah so that's six major arcana the tower we have Death, Scorpio, Justice, Libra, the World, Sagittarius, the Higher Font, Taurus, and the Hermit, Virgo. So a very, very stable connection, may even be a professional connection. Mm -hmm. King and the Queen, obviously. And then we have uh, the World, Death, and Justice. Yeah, it could be some sort of a traveling... Mm, I don't know if this is, I don't know what this is. This has to be a traveling healer because we know that death was, uh, well, and one of these tarot decks, I'm not sure, but you could even see it on this card or if you look up um, the British plague doctors, when they came around, they literally, uh, they used to say that they used to bring death. It's, it's probably the reason why the plague, the plague also spread so much because they went from place to place trying to heal the plague and it was just spreading disease everywhere but yeah the plague doctors were the healers of their time mm -hmm. and then they uh they believed back then that if you smell something toxic it'll make you sick right so they used to wear these um these beak masks and they would put flowers at the end of the uh the mask so that they always smell a sweet scent so this can indeed be a traveling healer <laughs> however unorthodox this is you know what this is <laughs> 
I remind, I'm reminded of the anime Naruto where the whole time his chakra was messed up is because his hair and this is this how much science they put into cartoons, right? Especially when they want to make us get attached to it. His hair grew in one way, in one way, and his chakra spun in another way. So it's like someone's learning the hard way. Put it like this: you know how people learn from the ground up. Someone's learning. Someone's learning top down. <sighs> That's funny. It's a deep transformation, though. It's very uh, religious here. You could be going through some sort of a religious training. But, yeah, very, very intuitive, very empathic. Could possibly be a swimmer or a drinker or li lives near water or like going to beaches or something like that. Very um, art-centric is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Sort of like enjoying the finer things in life. These are like the only kings and queens in this deck that really look like they chilling. <laughs> Yeah. What else we got? We got two aces. What are the rest of the high court cards? We got a page of pentacles and a king of pentacles. Yeah. And then the queen of swords. Giving off heavy empress vibes here with the king of pentacles and the queen of swords. That's Libra Taurus energy. That's the empress. Page of pentacles. Mm hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got a, oh, a, a whole where on earth is Carmen San Diego vibe. I bet she was a divine feminine or divine masculine. Who knows? But yeah, um, interesting set of cards here. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. New businesses head, heading towards you or a new way to develop finances, possibly evolve finances. I'm not sure if you have some lucky streak or you win something here. But um. A nice little heavy something coming in for you here. This could be, again, like a new job or a new business you started up here because inspiration strikes. But an upgrade nonetheless, whether in your finances or um, your artistic abilities here with the Ace of Wands. A lot of, sex, a lot of sex passion here as well. Or the sacral chakra expanding. Oh. We had three aces. Yeah. Definitely a change in someone's thought process here. There's a, they're, yeah, they're about to get ready to get inspired by something or they're, they're, again, it's like, I'm not sure if this is ancestral because I was also picking up mediumship. It's like somebody passed you down some sort of a gift to be, uh, to, it's, I don't know if it's speaking or if it's like, um, it has to be like singing or something like that or writing. Mm -hmm. This is a heirloom. Yeah, some sort of a spiritual heirloom here. I don't know what you're a descendant of. Hmm. Like, I'm descendant of royalty, so... This could also be another noble or something like that. Let's see. Three of Cups. Again, friendship coming towards you. Celebrations. I'm also getting like really relaxing vibes here. It's like someone's trying to go to sleep, but they can't. <laughs> but we'll get to it here. Five of Swords. A lot of talking here. Or sharing here is what this could be. Sharing over drinks or whatever this may be. But it's definitely at a party. Uh, sixes, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, exchanging gifts or exchanging ideas possibly even is when this Ace of Moments strikes. Mm -hmm. You may even share it with people. They may not understand, though. Some people will. Some people won't. It's like a business or it's like sales, right? We have Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> it's a maturation process here. You could even be uh, guardian or you could have uh, recently invested in some sort of a material property a house a home maybe um what do they call it condos or something like that who knows maybe a car and you're waiting on your investment to come in or you're still working on it it's like gardening you're guarding it uh gardening it right now but you're almost to the eight of pentacles which shows your hard work and you start to see um you start to see uh i guess a return on your investment or something like that this could even be, uh, be with a talent and then you have this the eight of swords coming out after the seven <laughs> of pinnacles like hell no this shit is hard <laughs> i can't even sleep nine of swords 
But again, it's like that saying where uh, you work so hard or you um, you intentionally change yourself or make changes to yourself or people would say that you changed, right? To the point where they can't even recognize you anymore. That's when you know you've changed. People start giving you those types of speeches and that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's the whole point of life, right? Even when it comes to learning new things. Uh, yeah, a lot going on here. <laughs> Ten of Wands, dropping burdens. This is at the, at, the, at the end of this whole spiritual wands journey. Dropping burdens. This could even be releasing baggage, like losing weight or something like that. Again, this person usually has very high energy. This could even be sexual tension, right? Sexual frustration. All this sleeplessness going on here. All this hard work. Which is another reason why men like sex, because it releases stress, right? <laughs> I can I can talk all the way back to days beyond. <laughs> Especially when you're poor, right? That's all you got time to do. That's the only that's the only thing that you can do that doesn't cost a lot. But we made capitalism, <laughs> which isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? That's funny. That's interesting. Which is why the two most important currencies in the world is love and money. But anyways, that is your messages. Uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We got that tower card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone's someone's learning magic here. Mm -hmm. Some sort of a gift that they're unlocking here with three, ace, three aces. Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of what that was, Wands. Yeah. This is the Magician here. The only thing he's missing is the Ace of Cups. So either you're not focused on love right now or whatever. This is just, an, like I said, an upgrade here. Nine of Wands being very defensive. Four of Pentacles here. This is a time not spending money. <laughs> Miserly. Um, uh, oh, yeah. But you could actually have a gift coming towards you, though. Love. Mm -hmm. The strength card. Faith is what they would call it. But yeah, interesting energies for you here today, Fire Signs. Um, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Catch you guys on the next one. My nose. <laughs> Peace.